So we're at a running race here in New York City. Bit of old footage for you. You can see me behind the ladder there. Just standing cool. Look at the other posture, the other guys. The guy in the black. He is really tense. You can see he's just he's just tense. He's using up a lot of energy there. He's tensing up. You gotta to learn to relax. Look at me, I'm just sort of standing up straight. Just yep, this is easy. The guy in the the aqua shorts, the white shirt, he's got a camel back on. He's doing some Instagram texting. I don't know what he's thinking. Starting on the front, he's going to get swamped. He's going to go too fast. He's going to blow. This guy in the black, he's so tense. I know he's a man to watch. He's going to go out fast. I'm going to sit on him, and he's going to drop because he's, he's too tense. He's way too tense. He's going to go too fast. Look at, look at how serious he is. He is so tense, man. He's using up so much nervous energy right now. He's too tense. He's too tense. The guy in the far left, green single, he looks pretty relaxed. Here we go. Look at the guy in the black sprinting off. Looking around, looking around. So I just followed him. And he, put, he, he he ran pretty fast for the first few hundred meters, but then he died. He died. So we've got a decent crowd here in New York City. I never thought I'd win a running race in New York City, but I've won a few now. It's a great city for running. Central Park's great for training. And there's a big community of runners in New York City. There's always someone to train with. It's pretty good. Unfortunately, I didn't have any real competition for this race, so I found it a little bit hard to push myself. I'm, I'm just running by myself the whole time, just following the pace bike. There's a pace bike in front of me. It's that guy on the bike. I had to chase him the whole time. So it's just me and the pace bike for pretty much 95% of the race because the guy in the black, he only lasted 500 meters and he popped because he went out too quick. So it's just vegan boy on his own. And here I'm coming to the finish line. You can see the girl in the black leggings, white top. She's doing the... Uh, She's doing the 5k, I think. And just flying out for the split finish here. Yeah! Uh, it works for him, I'm gonna do it. And in first place, all the way from Australia, sweeping awards across New York City this summer, or last summer as well, Harley Vegan ran a 35-31. Oh, yeah. Woo! That was the uh, 10k Labor Day, first place. Uh, I ran a, just on a PB. I ran by myself for the whole course, so I had to push myself a lot. When you're in a group, it's a lot easier to, to swap off, take turns, and push harder. So I was happy with today. I had a little bit of a stitch in the last few k's, so but nothing, uh, nothing major. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to recycle this trophy by peel off the label, and I'm going to slip it over there, and they can recycle it again. <laughs> So, uh, I don't like carrying trophies around the world with me, but it's a shame to waste something like this, so I'm going to put it back on the table, slyly. I'll just keep that one. There you go.